Ricardo Quiroga. Ricardo's research focuses on disaster risk reduction and the application of Earth's observation to develop products and services for decision makers throughout the disaster cycle. Ricardo, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me here. This is an honor for me. And let's talk about how growing up in Colombia influenced the work you do today. Yes, I was born in Colombia in the coffee region with uh, one of the most uh, variety of birds in, in the world. Also, I, I tour in all the ecosystems and regions in Colombia. Also visiting Amazon jungle where I work with indigenous communities trying to help to protect the ecosystems and those community, indigenous communities, including the non-contacted communities. That's uh, why I understood the needs of the Earth observations to understand the planet and deal with this uh, kind of challenge as a disaster. And can you tell us more about your role at NASA and for you personally, why it is important? Yeah, my role in NASA is be a bridge between the data, NASA expertise and models with the communities, the countries, the government and disaster agencies, be the bridge between NASA science and technology and decision makers in the region to support them uh, understanding the risk, understanding the damage, and also providing near real time products to make this important decision in all the whole cycle of the disasters. And what natural disasters has your work helped in regards to recovery? Yeah, our program works with a different variety of disasters, for example, landslides, hurricanes, floods, fires, providing near, near real-time data to end users. But uh, nowadays we are working with Guatemala City in multi-risk assessment. In Guatemala City it's important because there lives uh, 1.8 million people, most of them poor communities. And this is a combined effort uh, with government of Guatemala, Guatemala City government, United Nations Disaster Risk Reduction, and another regional agencies in disasters. This is a, an, an incredible project because we are using high resolution data, NASA data, NASA models to modeling the risk in that city. Uh, and that city has high seismic risk uh, for uh, that could be affected many people. And how do you connect to the communities and the people that you work with that you mentioned? Yeah, working in the Americas is important uh, to know the cultural elements. Uh, it's important to speak the language, the regional languages. Also trying to connect the people as friends because we are creating a community in disasters topics. That's the, why it's very important the NASA leadership and credibility to uh, join all those points, those uh, stakeholders to create a collaborative efforts to support uh, decision making and also to deal with the disasters in, the, in one of the most exposed regions in the world to the disasters. Wow. Your work, the work you do is very important. And for those watching, what's one piece of advice you could share with others who are just starting in their careers and maybe want to take a similar career path to yours? Well, I came here because I, I, I have my heart very connected with the nature, with the communities. And at one point of my life, I understood that it's, it's absolutely needed to involve science and technology to deal with the the big challenges that humanity has in, in the future, for example, overpopulation, uh, limited resources, and also great disasters coming. I think the science and technology combined with passion for them is a key element to be part of these uh, efforts to save lives and goods in, in the communities of the Americas. That's fantastic advice. Thank you, Ricardo, for sharing that and joining us today. Thank you for having me here. It's an honor to be part of the NASA Disaster Program. Thank you. Thank you.